And you lived in here? Yeah, for 15 years, yeah. Who was in here with you? All of us. The full family. Tyson, all his brothers, the full family. Never seen a kid like sport or boxing so much ever. He watched everything, all the old Rocky movies. He liked the Rocky themes. He was dancing to them and this, that and the other. He always wanted to play punching hands and all that job. I was always a weakling growing up and all that, and very thin and whatever, bullied and all that sort of stuff. But really, when he got to about 11, when I took him for a spa down in Liverpool with a, my trainer's son, and uh, he's his trainer's different. son, like, he had experience of amateur fights. He was only kids, but he'd boxed and my lad hadn't. Yeah. You know, and then when he, when he ill his own like that, and done yeah. what he did, I just took a note and thought, you know what, you're a big fat kid, you'd never had a pair of boxing gloves on in your life, and I've never really taught you much, because I didn't want to box anyway, and he comes and does what he did, so it just... Shined, I suppose. It shined, yeah. The recognition's just not there, though, John. Well, you're never going to get it, because he's a traveller. And, he, and his beliefs are different to other people's. We're not yes men. We say things as they are. We try and be as truthful as we can. Travellers have been persecuted for thousands of years. No matter what I achieve and, and who I be to what country I represent, deep down I'll always ever be a dirty jippo. Because every country a traveller goes to, they're hated. They're the most hated race of people on earth. Now, he was born in England, but is fighting here because of his roots in Northern Ireland. Fury was denied the chance to box for Ireland at the Olympics because he couldn't prove his ancestry. Left in the cold, really, so I was ABA champion, but to be honest, box, I didn't want to box anymore then, so I just thought, sack this. I was finished with boxing, me. We went on holiday, we went to um, Tenerife, me and my cousins, like on a lad's holiday for a week. Uh, come back from over there, and... My uncle Huey had been speaking to a couple of promoters and that, and he set up a meeting with Mick Hennessy. Come back and fought on my first pro debut. He's making his professional boxing debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tyson Fury. His dad was Gypsy John Fury, fought Henry Akinwandi. <laughs> fight of his professional career. Oh, left hand goes in, his feet, but I'm not sure he wants too much of it, and Howard Foster says no more. For some strange reason, Ellis just decided to walk in. He's been a relatively static target, and Fury able to tee off with his array of punches. Sellers ends very much at six and sevens, and yep, I think... Seven and oh, now a seven knockout, so bring him on in it, line him up and I'll knock him down. Oh, Blasco. On his way to another quick fire win here, Tyson Fury. How happy am I? But McDermott straight back into him and uppercut. Right hand down he goes. Oh, lovely right from Tyson Fury in again. Right hook's got him. And he's seen that than it did earlier on. Good combination again, and that has really hurt Rogan. Left to the body for Fury. You're not ready for me, boy. Listen, you better get out of my face, Listen, Mr. Hat. Uh, what is your name, Mr. Hat? Tell you, Mr. you know Hat. Hat. Sunglasses. Listen, I'm Navy Seal, that is. Navy Seal. I'm a Navy Seal, your ass. You better get smashed. Do you understand me? Fury on the back foot as Johnson comes forward. Already showing that it's an intriguing test of Fury. But... And it beat him in the, the, the fifth round knockout. That's good from Fury. Tyson Fury! Also, I have one more thing to say. This is a question to uh, Steve and to Cathy. Um, I'm just wondering if s the bottom of Steve's boots have been sponsored, because as there's going to be a lot of people watching around the world, I'd like to put my Twitter account on the bottom of them. Backing up just a bit. Yeah, Fury started. Steve's almost done here. Look at this. Arms oh, another not a and he's down. Cunningham is knocked down by Fury. Hundred grand. Let's bet. Sign the contract now, and I'll bet you hundred grand. I've been on my word. Shake on it. Shake on it. Yeah. Come on. Rather all fake than all. Oh, he's caught him with a solid oh, left hand. Oh, lovely right, right hand, left hand, back left hand there from Steve Light. I think Tyson had liked this one to be finished now, and I think yeah, I tend to. Agree. Oh, yeah, yeah, reluctantly, I think Derek Chisora has agreed, and the fight is now, over. Obviously, the. He hits hard enough to keep you away, that's for sure. Oh, look Lovely. at that. Look at him let the punches go. The mighty, <laughs> mighty lump of weight as well. Yeah. He is a big, big man. Oh, great shot. Terrific right to the little tactics. You always keep turning your opponent when you're being close. Corner. Lovely shot there. Lovely left hand there. Oh, they've thrown the towel in. I think they've thrown the towel in. I think they've pulled him out. 
fight's all over. That's the final hurdle. You know who's next? The big K. Is he scared of you? Well, if he wasn't, he is now. <laughs> you need to get under I, my skin. I don't hate you. Make it personal. It is personal. Very personal. Listen, it may be about business for you and them, them cheap suits that you're wearing, because it doesn't even fit you. Um, but for me, it ain't about business, it ain't about world champion belts, it ain't about money. Listen, this is about a fight between you and me. And I don't care about all the fights, I don't care about going down in history, I don't care about being a role model, and I couldn't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me, to be honest. I care about beating you. That's all I care about. Brought to you dress room. Okay, right here is good, anything below is low. Right here is and good. And he says yes. His parents named him for Mike Tyson. So he believes that he can fulfill what amounts to a parental prophecy. Things are much more refined, and um, eventually he can impose them. And Tyson Fury is going to have to put it all together in round one. Meaningful as it will if Fisco lands one. Now there, Fury steps forward and lands a left hand. The standards are much lower for Tyson Fury. If he wins in there, take this fella to school. Yeah? yeah. Remember, Harold is unofficial. He's not one of the scoring judges for the fight. Margin over Klitschko in landed punches counted by Kaki. Oh, good shot. Big left hook by Fury. He's getting very limp in there. Yeah? yeah. He's tired. Age is creeping up. Get a little bit more busy. Pop, pop. Oh, left hook for Fury. Tight, uh, Klitschko went for a home run left hook and got caught with yeah, it. Hurt it. He got caught left hook for Fury. And like you say, just being 6'9", or 6'8", or 250 pounds, those big shots hurt. Oh, he's taking a point. Tony Weeks point. is going to take a point from Fury. So listen, for sure. hands up. After this is over with, if in fact Fury is declared away, the winner. Three minutes away, convincing this round. We've got to get this round back. That's the only way you're going to beat him is you knock him out. You, 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 you fight better than him. You don't fight. Well, despite the point deduction right. in the 11th round, Harold Letterman saw the round for Fury, so it was 9-9 on Harold's unofficial card, not 10-8. In fact, on Harold's unofficial card, Fury has won the fight if he stands up. He could get knocked down three times and still be the winner. On the, DQ, but the DQ would be if Fury is caught with another oh, rapid punch. Pick two up big left to by Fury. Landing on Klitschko's chin, going to help. help. No, but he's trying to fight for a chance. I mean, you got to give him credit. He tried. Either the, the round. either the heavyweight championship of the world just changed hands or we're about to witness a horrible robbery. 100%. All three scores to the winner by unanimous decision. From the United Kingdom, the new unified heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury! This is a dream come true. Me and my Uncle Peter here. We've worked so hard for this. You know, it's been six months and I put everything in the gym for this and I just can't believe it and I've got it. Oh, <laughs> hey. I'm dedicated to I just want to dedicate this to my Uncle Huey. Yes! Tyson, Tyson Curry. He started me from the beginning. You look good coming in. You were really relaxed. When you, when you seen the cut over his eyes, did that spur you on a little bit more? And then on July the 9th, we have the world heavyweight title, Tyson Fury defending against one of the greats of recent years, indeed of all time, Vladimir Klitschko. I don't live a strict lifestyle. I don't even live an athlete's lifestyle. It, it's an absolute disgrace to call me an athlete. You couldn't call me an athlete. Absolutely not. I, you know, I'll have to show you what the athlete looks like. <laughs> this is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. There you go. Does that look like a fighter's body? Clearly not. Do I give a fuck? No. To repeat your feet again, because nobody heard it. You! Help me with this rule. Get out of here. Come on, Come on again! Come on, me a clown! Fool! Come on, Come on. Come on. I can do my best and that's it. Win, lose or draw, I put, I put up my best fight. And if Vladimir beats me, then good luck to him. I'll shake his hand and say he's a better man. And obviously, if I beat him, then I'm still in the same position. Still as sick as ever. Still as depressed as life can be. And still don't really care if I die in any second of the moment. That's the way I live my life. 
Hi guys, as you already know, October 29th Revenge Against Fury is cancelled due to whatever issue this time Fury has. Fair to call it a, a problem with drugs, as in recreational drugs? Is what a problem? What you've spoken about in the past. I'm calling it a problem, I'm not saying it's a problem now, but a, uh, a past problem if you like. I wouldn't call it a problem. It wasn't a problem. It was just a pastime, bit of fun, buzz, whatever you want to call it. But it was more drove to that position by what was going on with my life and career at the time. You get to the heavyweight champion of the world, you unify mm. the division, become best fighter on in the heavyweights, and then mm. it was just sort of what to do here from now, that was it. Had a, had a couple of years break, mm. which hasn't done me any harm, mm. drunk plenty yeah, of beer and yeah. had a good time and whatever, yeah. you know. I thought to myself, you know what, I looked at the thing, I thought, I'm still only 28, 29, so I could do this. I'm looking at these bodybuilders, knocking lumps off each other, and I just thought, you know what, I can, I can come back and beat these guys. Yeah. Two years, I'm refreshed, Excellent. back on track. There's a new major signing for do Frank it. and for BT Sport, exclusive coverage of Tyson Fury's comeback on June the 9th in Manchester. Tyson, it's been, uh, it's been a long time. Are you feeling uh, just a, a tiny bit nervous about getting back in the ring? Are there a few, few collie wobbles? No. Starting to absorb a few now, and Fury realizes it's going okay. Too quick. Oh, that's a solid shot, Seferi. Sinking back onto the ropes under the weight of that uppercut, and there's a slight smile on Fury's face after an altogether more business like round. Four rounds out of four for Tyson Fury. And I think it's all over. It is. The next He's one's on the 18th of August at Windsor Park Safari on the Carl Frampton bill. And uh, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing him back in action. I know Ben and him are going to continue to work very hard in the gym. And they, got, they know they've got lots of things to work on. I'm brutally honest, I could have knocked him out 10 seconds, really. Yeah. Could have done him in the first round. That's being honest. But what, what would that have done me? I got four rounds instead of 30 seconds, basically. Um, and I enjoyed it. I got a good little four rounds in. And... TV exposure, baby! <laughs>